Festivities wrapping up. The crowd is electric, and we'll be back to get it going right after this. Welcome, thanks for joining us. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Cleveland Guardians. John Shambi on the play-by-play -play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color. Postseason baseball singy. It's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching players coming out of the bullpen, throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that will live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And pitching in this game, Tanner Bybee. How about a report on him, Chris? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. The second baseman, Glaber Torres. And that one ripped to left. Clark makes the grab, one away. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Tap dances out of the way of that one. One out, base is empty. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball three. And that drops in for a strike. Okay. One down, base is empty. Up the middle. Toss to oh. Naylor. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. The 2 1. Judge rips that one. That's back. And it hits the fence. Around first and hustling for second. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. And in scoring position with two away. Now the batter now, Austin Wells. The pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. And another ball. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four ball hitter up. That's a hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. The throws offline. He's saved. And it's one nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Two outs, runner at first. Giancarlo Stanton stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a miss. 
And the count one and two. Well, with one this ball. many pitches thrown right. here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. One, two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road. Stakes are high. Energy in the ballpark. And you help to quiet that down a little bit. That's hard hit in the line. Thomas makes the catch. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And the home team down a run. Back now at Progressive Field. And starting this one, Garrett Cole. Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. We go to the bottom of the first. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. And he lays down a bunt. And that's just foul. And here it comes. And another ball. Damn. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Kyle Mansardo digs in now. Ripped to short. Tosses to first. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb. But, yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. Here's Jose Ramirez. To the right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. And now it's Josh Naylor. And a good eye there. And Naylor swings through that one. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Grab on the run. And that ends the inning. Guardians leave one. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here in Cleveland. Here's the third baseman. Jazz Chisholm Jr. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Gets it to first. One up, one down. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. And that one lifted in the air center field. Thomas makes the grab for the second out. That is it. The first baseman. And here is Anthony Rizzo. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And another ball. I was always told yeah, it's ball. hard to One take strike. you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. 
Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. On the ground. Jimenez, throw to first. And that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Yankees. But they still lead it one nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Stepping up for the Guardians, Lane Thomas. Here comes a pitch. A little bit high. And that's ball three. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. But with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone mode. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Got him looking. One gone here. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. That catches the corner. One down, base is empty. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Here's Andres Jimenez. This one in the air. Rizzo settles under this one. He's got it. And that's the third out. Guardians go down one, two, three. And it remains one nothing. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. And now Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. The one one. Fought off foul. This park is absolutely electric for this game. Such a great postseason atmosphere. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Swing and a pop up. Naylor makes the grab. Two away down. Nothing like the drama you get in the postseason, Boog. Love being a part of these games. And now it's Juan Soto. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs. And it chases that one. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Yanks held in check. They lead it one nothing. Here in Cleveland, set for the bottom of the third. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Volpe fires to first on the run. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting none. Not shortstop. Here's Brian Rocchio. Chris, he's currently the team leader in OPS. 
The Guardians down by a run here in game three of the ALCS. Now a check swing grounder. The throw to first. And that quickly, two away. Nice job of deception right there by the pitcher. Got the hitter out there a little bit. Couldn't check his swing and induces a nice little ground out. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Two down, nobody on. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Bounce to the right. Fires over to first. Guardians go down in order. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. They're down 1 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Aaron Judge. Ball for a strike. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Payoff pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Ground ball right side, Jimenez. Gathers and throws to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Two outs, base is empty. And next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. Two down, nobody on. Here in game three. Wouldn't chase that time. Ripped on the ground a second. Tossed to Naylor. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Yanks held in check. But they hold a 1-0 lead. Here in game three of the American League Championship Series. And now the DH, Kyle Mansardo. One and two now. And that's in the dirt. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now it's Jose Ramirez. The Yanks up by a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two down. Here's Josh Naylor. Dude, this offense is fighting for their lives right now. They're not ready for this season to be over, so they need to dig deep and find a way to get something going. Anything will help. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. 
Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss struck him out. The Guardians go down in order. They trail here, one nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr. The wind and the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Has some trouble with it. In there safely. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. And here nope. is Anthony Volpe. Chisholm gets his lead at first with nobody out. Run around the goal. That one fouled off two and two. Got him swinging. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Kicks and fires. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Jazz around second, headed for third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Alex Verdugo. Next offering is in for a strike. Second and third, one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. And there are two outs. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. So the lineup flips over. Glaber Torres up to the plate. And that's off the inside edge. And now three and one. Two on, two outs, and fouled off. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Second and third, two down. Two outs. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three and two now. And they're all nope. loaded up. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at-bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So two down. Juan Soto now. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Gavin Williams, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Cantillo, a left-hander, also throwing. And that one is lifted in the air. Brennan sizes this one up, and that's the third out. 
And the Yankees leave them loaded, but they lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the inning. So in now for Cleveland, Lane Thomas. The one one. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Hard ground ball, base down. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. He was all over that one. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. And another ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Line drive, that's a base hit. Coming home. He'll score and then It's 1-1. Oh, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And stepping in is the speedy Andres Jimenez. Righty delivers. Just missed. Tied up, last half of inning number five. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Three, two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. The kick, the 3 2. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about runner on the go. Left field. Verdugo ranging after it. Makes the grab. Batter number four, shortstop, Ryan Rokio. And the batter will be the shortstop, Brian Rokio. Brennan off of first with two away. Pitch misses, and the count's full. Steven Kwan waiting for a turn at the plate. He goes down looking. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Five innings complete. All tied, 1-1. And they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Gavin Williams. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Aaron Judge at the plate. The center fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. And he deals. 
Slap the other way. Foul. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. And it drops in. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. And the pitch. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. With the go ahead run at first, and we're the top half of the sixth. Righty to the plate. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play and a swing to miss One down, two and another ball Man at first, one away. Got him! And there's two away. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. That one ripped, and it goes just foul. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. So one hit is all they get. Top of the order, two up in the home half of the six. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Now at Progressive Field, bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That's down and in. Boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. A pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. Kyle Manzardo digs in for the Guardians. Hit in the air, center field. Judge has it sized up and makes the grab. And there are two down. Here's a big power threat. Jose Ramirez. 
the 1 1. He swings and fouls one off. That oh. one misses in the dirt. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches in this game. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And he's in at second with a two-out double. All over that one right there. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Got to love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So, man aboard. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. So, first and second with two outs. And up next for Cleveland, Lane Thomas. Go ahead run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering is down low. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Tim Mesa getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Heel also getting ready. The 2 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two on, two outs. Got him. That's the third out. Inning over. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Ricky Cannon. Ricky Cannon. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. The pitch. And oh, another right ball. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face That's batting cool. from the left side, same side he throws from. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. On the ground a second, might be two. Off balance feed, there's one. On the first double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Two down, nobody on. That one finds the zone, and it's two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now the lefty in the air, fairly deep to right field. Brennan makes the grab, and that is that. Get a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tim Mesa. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Outside low. Two and one. Well, both starters out of this ball game. It now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line.
kicks and deals. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And here is Andres Jimenez. The pitch. Foul ball there. And another ball. Hit weakly on the ground. Volpe. Two up, two down. Stepping up for the Guardians, Bo Naylor. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. And that's outside. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page and that's something that this guy does really well gets in sync with his pitchers two outs that one the other way and foul ball Boog, his preparation is off the charts I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit he's so buried in that video room it's hard to get a chance to talk to him one of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead so a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best that is if you are the offensive side of it and that's off the inside edge and now three and one Stephen Kwan in the on deck circle And here comes that pitch clips the outside corner three balls two strikes stays alive two gone the possible go ahead run at first now a screamer into the outfield no trouble here puts it away for the out and the inning is over one left for the Guardians. Score remains tied 1 1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Eli Morgan. Eli Morgan. Back to the top of the lineup. Glaber Torres up to hit. Glaber Torres. And the righty deals. And another ball. You got two balls, one strike. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. 2-2 two -two now. Two -two now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Here's Juan Soto. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Now a move being made at second base. On the pinch run, John Birdie. John Birdie. One down. Intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility with one away and runners at first and second. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Pinch running here, Jason Dominguez. 
Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Two on, one out. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Brings it in. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. And the right hander deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. That's the third base hit. One run in already. The second run scores. It's 3-1. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Joey Cantillo. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. First and second, two outs. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. The pitch. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Base is full, two gone. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Here comes a pitch. That There's one off the two. mark, and that's ball two. Ball. Base ball lock three. here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that other team to think they have a shot, and a knock here would be a big blow. This one's blistered. No doubt about it. Out of here. Grand slam. And they add on. It's 7-1. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. It's the grand slam to drive in for. Really good job at the plate. So two down. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Two outs. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. And a one-two. Line drive. And now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Number 36 will take over here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. One ball, two strike.
And it's second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. Anthony Rizzo leaves the yard here. It's 7 1. You're watching the American League Championship Series on the show. So coming into the game now on defense, Jason Dominguez. He'll be patrolling center field. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Luis Heal. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Stepping in, Stephen Kwan. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. That one almost got him. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. And there's one away. The designated hitter, number nine, Kyle. Next for the Guardians is the designated hitter, Kyle Manzardo. That misses the zone. Now two and two. Movement in the Yankees pen. Ian Hamilton appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Cousins getting loose as well. Wouldn't chase that time. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One down. Base is empty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. In the air, center field. Under this one. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. The batter, the third baseman, Huffman. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. The Guardians with a lot of ground to make up here in the late stages of game three. Not even close there. Two and two. Two down, nobody on. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And that's outside. And now three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two the Yankees up big in this one here the bottom half of the eighth inning in the air pretty deep out to center field Dominguez settles underneath it and the inning is over And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. John Birdie at the plate. John Birdie. 
And the pitch. That misses the zone, and the count's even at two. In the air, right field. Brennan on the move. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One up, one down. Jason Dominguez stepping in now for the Yankees. One down, base is empty. And yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And a count one and two. And another ball. And now two and two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the night. And it is two and one. Right through there for a strike. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs, and there's ball four. Hopefully he figures it out on the mound because they're running out of arms in that bullpen. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Yankees seven and the Guardians one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Ian Hamilton. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. And yeah, the batter now, Josh Naylor. The first baseman. Josh Naylor. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Naylor tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Nope, he held back. 